uh, the argument actually is just uh, the argument in this area is just or the schools of thought are just two those who believe that the rapture will take place before tribulation when the antichrist shall come upon the earth and those who believe that antichrist shall come first now I will read just as our brother has said in type before the waters of tribulation fell upon the earth the children of God were already taken to safety in the ark before the fires of tribulation and judgment fell upon Sodom the few righteous there were removed from Sodom so before the tribulation of the earth just come upon mankind of the antichrist mankind the, the few righteous would have been taken away this is one but let's read a scripture just maybe two portions of scripture to conclude on that we want to be one leave these people who are not born again who have been deceived who have been employed by satan to deceive the church and scatter it leave him leave them follow the scripture in the book of second thessalonians chapter 2 second thessalonians chapter 2 i read from verse 1 Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him. This is the second coming of Christ. The coming of Christ is twofold. One, in the rapture, where he remains in the sky and believers go to meet him. Specified in First Thessalonians chapter 4. Let's read it. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 and 17. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Continue it, one, two, go. The Lord shall be in the air. The Lord shall be in the air. We shall go up to meet the Lord in the air. Have you heard? This is the rapture. He will take us back to heaven. We are meeting him in the air. This is the rapture. Not the second coming as prophesied in Acts of Apostles chapter 1. God, let's go there. Acts of Apostles chapter 1. I read verse 9. And when he has spoken these words, he was on earth speaking these words. When he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. He was among them. They were seeing him. He was taken up. And a cloud received him out of their sight as they were gazing to heaven, seeing him as he was going. A cloud received him from their sight. Out of them as a side, rather, verse 10. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, where stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, continue the rest.
he will come back to the earth in like manner he shall be descending and concerning this descending revelation chapter 1 tells us the manner of the descending revelation chapter 1 yeah verse 7 behold he cometh with clouds remember the clouds received him now he will be piercing he will be coming with clouds and of course the cloud of his angels too behold he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him where the people seeing him until he was received of the cloud when he is coming every eye shall see him the, the physical eye shall see him yes and they also which pierce him even the enemies shall see him and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him even so amen this is second coming so have you seen the two separate the two different comings the one in the air are in the on the in the air not everybody saw him in fact even the apostles and the believers i don't know whether they could look into the air into the air and see him but he's waiting in the air ah we will go and meet him there but in the second coming he is coming to rule the earth so he is coming down back to the earth to rule for 1000 years so these are the two comings of jesus go back to uh, uh, Thessalon second thessalonians chapter 2 here now paul is saying now we beseech you brethren by the coming of our lord jesus christ and our gathering together unto him on earth here not in heaven on earth here when he shall come we shall gather together to him where his the saints that are on earth he shall be coming with the saints from heaven and the ones that are on earth who are still believers shall gather together with him because jerusalem shall be the city said the headquarters now concerning that he said that ye be not so soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us as that the day of christ is at hand for this second coming back to the earth don't allow anybody to terrify you to tell you that ah, he's coming now he's coming now he's coming now there are conditions that will have to be visibly fulfilled before that one will happen so don't allow anybody to shake you no what is it let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition let nobody tell you that Christ is coming down to the, back to the earth now. No, no, no. No, there is a condition. And that condition is that there will be a lot of backsliding. The, the man of, the man, uh, that man of sin will be revealed on earth and will do his work before Christ will come. Amen? He continues. Who is that man? Who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he, as God, seated in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. It means that man will not, the second coming will not come until there is a temple built among the Jews for the man of sin to come into the temple and demand worship. That's what he's saying. Because the Jewish temple must be rebuilt. We don't know when. Is it now? Or will we be in the tribulation period? We're not aware. But in this present technology, it cannot take the temple months to, to, to be built. It cannot. With all technology. 
and since tribulation is seven years and there will be first seven three and a half years of peace it can be built during that time we don't know but the temple of the jews do not does not determine the rapture it can only determine the second coming to the earth that it must be there because that man of sin, the Antichrist will enter into that temple and make himself God to be worshipped. Is that clear? Okay. He said, remember ye know that when I was with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what withhold, what withhold it that he might be revealed in his time. You are aware of what is keeping him. He has not come. The Antichrist has not come because something is withholding him. Is that what the Bible is saying? That's what the Bible is saying. Then what is withholding that Antichrist? He goes on to say, verse 7, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now will let it, will let until he be taken out of the way. All water is flowing down. But because we don't want water to reach the other place, something is going on there, we built a bank here to block the water. As it is come, it's only gathering there. It's only gathering there. It's gathering there. It's swelling up. We're seeing greater iniquity. But it has not been let down to go down there because something we're doing something over there. Something is preventing it. Something is blocking it. That is why it cannot flow down. Now, it continues. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now let it, let it means prevents. Only he who now prevents it will keep preventing until he be taken out of the way. Who is he? Who is he? The Holy Spirit came to build the church and is still bodily with the church on earth. His presence is the blockade that is preventing the Antichrist from coming because he is doing some work in the church. You get it? He is doing some work in the church. He has not finished his work in the church. Therefore, he is blocking the Antichrist from taking over. And the Bible now says, in verse 7 again, 7 and 8, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way and then shall the wicked be revealed when it he is taken out of the way because he has finished his work the bible says and then what is the work the holy spirit is doing what did he come to the world for for the church after he has finished he will take the church off then the Antichrist will now do his work in the world. Can you get it now? Then the Antichrist will now do his work. And then shall the wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth at Armageddon. And shall destroy with the brightness of his second coming now. As prophesied in Acts chapter 9. In Acts chapter 1 verse 9. And ten, it at his coming, the coming now is to the earth. I, it will be in the war of Armageddon, where the Lord shall destroy him. Is it clear to us? Is the rapture before tribulation or after tribulation? Please, the church is God that is bringing us together. Throw away these things. Don't join them. Follow scriptures. The scriptures have shown us there are two comings. The major one, when Jesus shall come to the earth one for 1,000 years reign, that one is coming the second time, but the first coming is in the air. When 
the rapture shall take place and believers shall go with him to the air and to heaven the rapture taking place means the holy spirit has removed has been removed from the way then the antichrist that water of troubles can flow into the world the lord said this thing in prophecy clearly in the book of isaiah chapter 26 Isaiah 26, verse 20 and 19. Are you there? Let's go there. Isaiah 26, verse 20 and 19. We'll read it together. Sorry, verse 20, verse 20 and 21. One, two, go. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover this has slain does it not show that the rapture before tribulation come my people enter into your rest that is why he waited in the air to take us to heaven because i'm going to use a period to judge these people that are on the earth come and rest there a while because in the seven years of tribulation the marriage supper will be going on the judgment seat of the believers will be going on where christ will be sharing the gifts of the people according to their works to them and celebrating the union between man and god it will be taking seven years be enjoying there for a while while tribulation will be going on earth because you yourself are coming back to the earth with the lord just rest a while there and be enjoying while i'm dealing with these terrible people down there the antichrist will be walking and god also will be walking to punish the earth is that clear stand to this let the church be one don't major in confusion the lord bless you let's rise up on our feet and thank the, the message lord. you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages, or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com God bless you For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior.
believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe. I believe. I believe. 